All right, one other alternate way of dealing with scan data um, that has kind of like the wall thickness there that you got to deal with. And that is to basically focus only on a certain area of the scan model, not the whole form. So, um, so that you can just pull that part out and maybe go through a thickening process and give it some supports and stuff with it as well. So let's take a look at this method. So with this, basically I'm going to try to get rid of, I'm, I'm just going to keep the eye area, okay, the nose and the eye, so I should say, um, to work with. So basically I'm going to make three plain cuts uh, when I do this. So I'm going to go to the Edit Tool, go to Plain Cut. Now I wish I would keep this, but you got to go back in and turn off No Fill. And let's go to uh, back view, pull this up, and like I said, I'm gonna. That's gonna be my bottom area. So accept. I can think about it, and let's get it. Um, didn't fill it up. Okay, so it's hollow there. Uh, all right. Now I'll do another plain cut. Make sure I flip the direction. Kind of hard to find that arrow sometimes. And kind of right where it chooses there is a pretty good spot. Once again, no fill. Hit accept. All right. And then the third way. Um, once again, another plain cut. No fill. All right. And then rotate this 90 degrees. Um, See if there's any way to lock it in. Not really. All right. Super critical on this. Let go of that. Now pull it this way. Okay. And hit accept. All right. So what we're left with, let's see if we do a home view if we can get anything closer. And now I'm going to switch to perspective just so we can zoom in a little bit and see this better. And that is, we basically got two separate pieces there, hopefully. So once again, let's see if we can just go in and select a little piece like that, type expand, and it is totally separate, okay? So it'll kind of be able to uh, get rid of it for you. Now, um, if I get rid of that, now I just have the exterior part of this, okay? I could have gone in and made sure um, or, or done it with the fills, so that would just have a thin area. But what I want to do is my own kind of thickening with this. That's kind of like um, one that came with the program. So if you once again select, let's pick this side, expand, get everything, and underneath edit, you will find. All right, so look underneath the edit menu, and you'll find the offset. And basically, uh, this will kind of do a quick solution for you. And based off of you know the values that are in here, so mine right now is simply um, two millimeters. Okay, now it's a little misleading um, because it's kind of hard to tell which way it's going. I'm going to go ahead and type in ten. Okay, I want to thicken this up a fair amount, um, and it's going to go through and solve this. Now, what's going to happen? That's not going to be uh, apparent until you do it and, and start seeing it, it actually thickens outwards in this case. Okay, so we're going to end up with really losing a lot of resolution and stuff with it um, and, and doing it outwards um, uh, in the way the program's initially set up. Okay, so you can see it's kind of like the puffy version of it. So, simple solution just type in negative value there. Hit tab again to accept that value, give it a second to go through and solve it. So this will get it thickened, and, and you can try some larger values. I tried 20 millimeters, but what happens is it starts getting some really kind of funky little pieces hanging out and stuff. I don't think it looks really that great. You could do it and then cut it again if you wanted to, to kind of get rid of those. Um, you know, like here, you can see things are kind of getting rough around the edges and, and all with it. So definitely probably have to cut it again to clean it up. So, but that going negative keeps it um, in, you know, all going on the inside so you don't lose the definition and stuff. Just like I said, you got some little edges here to clean up and everything. Um, but um, let's see, sort of boundaries. Let's try that and see if by chance that will take care of um, the edges and stuff without doing kind of all that whacked up around the pieces and all. So worth trying some of these options sometimes to see what you can get with it.
but what you're going to end up finding is you can think it up to a reasonable point, but it, uh, at some point it's just going to get not look good. Okay, so you can see it's still kind of doing some things over here that are not great. All right, so what we're going to do, um, we're going to go ahead and accept that. And like I said, I can cut this down. Um, you know, if I need to, just let's go ahead and do that real quick. Plain cut. We will flip it around. Move this up to the very tip top, just so it keeps a nice clean edge up there. Uh, of course, the one time I didn't want it to fill up, it didn't. So at least it tried. Hmm. All right. So maybe I need to move it down a little bit. There may be something. There we go. You can see it popped in right there. Uh, it wasn't all the way down into it. That's it angled in a little bit. There we go. Nice. Okay. So like I said, you can go through and do this with all the edges and get it you know, back to a nice clean form. Um, well, let me go ahead and do that real quick. So we'll go down now. And let's get, just make sure I'm all the way through. Ah, and apparently it wasn't. All right, pull it up just a little bit. Now, I'm probably losing too much. Um, got to be careful I don't uh, lose what I wanted here. Yeah, hmm. that's interesting. So I'm going to just undo that totally for right now. Like I said, I could look into it and figure out what's going on at the bottom here. seems like you should be able to cut it. But what I want to do instead or, or show you to do is, okay, you got this neat piece. Well, how are you going to mount it? All right. So a couple of different ways to do something like that. Um, what I'm going to actually do is put a bar across this and just to kind of show you that technique to, to do something like that. So this will involve putting in a um, cube and then repositioning and scaling it to the right size and then um, doing a boolean operation to join the two. All right. So let's get back the grid because I want to pull in the cube up here. Uh, let's go down to primitive shapes. There we go. Grab this square. comes in really large, so we'll just start by reducing it down. Um, I'm going to go to the top view. Start moving it forward. I'm going to get out of the perspective. There we go. And then I will reshape it this one. Now, I want to keep this thick enough where I can actually come back in and put a hole through this so that um, if I was mounting this with a stand or something like that. Okay, now uh, you will notice that as you go out to the edges, it will, oops, if I get it up in the right spot here, so I'll maybe put it there, and I'll just reduce it down. Okay, you know, not cut through this in a nice regular shape, unfortunately. Um, and, and really the width across here is probably the more important part of this could try to re or re-angle these at the, the ends and stuff with it. But um, I think if you, you know, treat it as design element, so maybe I'll scale it out just a little bit more and then shift that over. Okay, that looks pretty good. Um, you know, it could do even more vertical if I wanted to, to do something like that. Almost mount it on a block. Um, that has a nice kind of even appearance to it. Okay, let's slide it over a little bit. So that's one way, but like I said, you could keep it, you know, just like that, so that um, you can punch a hole through this and have a, um, a post mounted uh, that way. Okay, um, let's go ahead and go with that for right now. Go ahead and accept. Now, these are still two separate things. So if I go to that view show object browser you see that you got the original one here and this one so remember if you shift click on both of these this other menu pops up and what we want to do is that boolean union there and when this comes back we're going to turn off the, get rid of the advanced area here turn off auto reduce results give us a second to think about that and then we'll turn off that other one to preserve uh, groups and that will get rid of that as well. Okay, and then those two off, precise, hit accept, and it goes through and does the final piece. So this is one finished form, 
Okay, that um, you know you can now 3D print this whole piece here. Got a lot of good definition here. Um, you know we got our block right there in the back. Um, and, you know we could have treated this. I should have shown that. Let me undo this real quick. Or it may take a little bit too much to undo it, but I, I guess my point was going to be that um, let's cancel this and. Once again, do the object lister. We will pick that part and do edit, transform. Let's basically push this back so that it just does intersect. Okay, so it's not uh, so much um, getting in the way and stuff. And, you know, you can position it down below if you wanted to do something like that, to even have it set up like that. So if you're designing an art piece to go on it, this is kind of out of the way. Um, you can, you know, also push something in the forward. And let me scale it this way. Uh, oops, my scaling got really out of whack. So I'm gonna make this a thinner plate that we're just gonna put on the bottom. So, you know, think about it. Think what's gonna do the best as far as presenting your design. Uh, that you want to go with. Okay. You know, maybe even just doing something like that at the bottom, or you can totally make it like that. And, you know, the only, you mm, cut it down in size so that it just does. Now, this probably isn't really good with um, doing a post to it. You may have to glue it or just present it like that as a flat piece on the bottom with it and all okay so just some different options how you can treat something like this um, to kind of work with it um, you can definitely modify something else or glue something in here so you come up with a whole stand that supports this and you don't even see it so some students have done that in the past as well all right so that shows you some di different possibilities with um, once again, working with the head scan and just getting a little area of focus out of it, not the whole head, but just the part that you want to focus on.